Good morning, everybody. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Word for Your Wednesday. My name is Renee Carls, and we are live together today to study God's Word. I've got a just a quick word today to encourage you, and we're going to get right to it. So let's go ahead and pray. And then we will get this little Bible study started. So Jesus, we just thank you so much, Lord. We thank you for this day, God. We thank you for your peace, your presence, your joy that is here to meet us today, God. You are so faithful, Lord. We love you so much. I ask a blessing on all of those who are joining me live and for those who are joining me via recording, God. Um, just come, Holy Spirit, guide and direct us. Let your word come alive to us today, Lord. Um, help us to establish our day in peace and in truth as we stand on your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. So I've, I've got somebody here working in my yard. He's, I think he's putting down fertilizer. I'm like, don't you know I'm getting ready to film a word for your Wednesday? So good morning, everybody. Let's see who's joining us today. It is good to see you. Hello, Denise. Good morning. And Lynn and Cindy. Welcome. So... I'm back in Maryland. If you can't see my background, it's different. Uh, I was at the Alabama football game on Saturday, and this was this inspired me for today's word. And we were walking, and one of the uh, famous former uh, coaches for the Alabama Crimson Tide is Coach Paul Bryant. And we were walking to go to the stadium, and I saw, and I've, I've seen this quote before, but I saw this on a banner at somebody's tailgate. And uh, I've always loved this quote, but when I read it on Saturday, it like kind of popped out to me. And this was the quote by Coach Paul Bryant. It says, cause I ain't never been nothing but a winner, okay? Cause I ain't never been nothing but a winner. And as I thought about that, I said, well, shoot, Lord, living for you, hanging for you, hanging with you, Jesus, I have never been nothing but a winner. It doesn't matter what goes on in this world. It doesn't matter, you know, like if it's a game or, you know, I know he was talking about winning a football game, but I took it even farther and I said, you know, Lord, isn't it sweet to trust you? Isn't it sweet to walk out my life knowing that with you, I ain't never been nothing but a winner and it's okay. Maybe the world would look at failures. Maybe the world would look at, um, you know, judging us. But when we are with God, knowing that he's gone before us, we ain't nothing but a winner, y'all. And that should just kind of start to build our, our confidence today that it doesn't matter the outcome of anything. Lord, y'all, you can look at the, at the outcome of the Bible, right? When Jesus comes back in Revelation, go ahead and read the very end of that book. And through all that calamity and all the things that will take place before he comes back, he wins and we win. Amen. So today's scripture is found in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 20. Now there's one verse that I'm going to focus on, De Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4, but I'm going to start reading, uh, let's see, in verse 1 of chapter 20 here. And this is Moses and um, this is, you know, talking to the Israelites, right? talking about all the things that they had gone through to remember who God was. And so in Deuteronomy chapter 20, it says, when you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours, do not be afraid of them because the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt will be with you. Okay, so let's just pause right there. So he's saying, listen, when you gotta go to war, right? When you gotta go to battle, don't look around at the circumstances. Don't look at all the horses, the chariots, and like, wow, there's no way that I can win, right? And what did he tell them to do? He said to remember what God did. Remember the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt will be with you, right? And so we're going to win. We're going to win not when we just look at our circumstances, not just what the world tells us, not just in the current challenges that we're in. We don't want to look at that, but we want to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. We want to keep our ears tuned into her, his word. We want to read his word. We want to stay, we want to stay with him as our commander to know that we're going to win, right? I and mean, then we need to remember what did God do in our past, right? 
It doesn't matter what the world thinks. It doesn't, doesn't matter what we think is a failure. With God, we are winning. We're winning, all right? And so he told the, the Israelites, remember what God did in the past. He will be with you, right? If he did it before, he'll do it again, all right? When you are about to go into battle, um, the priest shall come forward. Let me see. The priest shall come forward and address the camp. He shall, he shall say, hear Israel. Today you're going into battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not panic or be terrified by them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Okay, so here, do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not panic or be terrified by what you see, y'all. Don't be faint-hearted. And it's almost like... Instead of being faint-hearted and shrinking back, God's calling us like, no, we're going to stand. We're going to listen. We're going to remember who you are, God. We're going to remember who we are in you. And we're not going to shrink back. We're not going to panic. We're not going to be terrified. And here's our verse for today. Deuteronomy 4. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Do not be faint-hearted. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Y'all, we ain't nothing but a winner, all right? We ain't nothing but a winner. It is God who goes before us. It is God who's with us. It is God who stepped in in our past, and that's where we want to keep our focus on. And to remember that it's not our current struggles. It's not, you know, winning or losing as in a football game. But it's who we are and who we belong to. And that makes us a winner. And that should bring us peace today. It should bring us comfort. It should keep us from being faint-hearted. It should keep us encouraged. It should keep us uh, from panicking, right? That we are going to win despite the outcome. Despite the outcome. Despite what it looks like, okay? Despite what the opinions say. What, despite what the reports say. We will win when we remember who we belong to and who goes before us. Amen. So that's today's word. It's a short word, but I hope this has encouraged you that maybe you are going through some situations and maybe today you just need to take a little inventory. Maybe you haven't been remembering what God did in your past. Maybe you have forgotten and you were just looking at like kind of like in a black and white. Well, this is what it is and I feel like I'm losing. But with God, we're going to win. He goes before us. He fights for us. And we can be uh we can be still in that today. We can be assured that we are loved, that he's gone before us and that we ain't nothing but a winner, y'all. We ain't nothing but a winner and that um, I say amen to. Amen. So Jesus, thank you so much, God. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for the character of who you are, God. Let us remember that today. Let us not shrink back. Let us not be faint hearted. Let us not be full of fear, but be full of faith. Let us hold fast to your word, God. Let us walk forth with a victorious mindset today, God. I just want to pray if anybody needs to get a shift in their mindset to have that victorious mindset, God. We are victorious. That we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath because of who you are and who you've made us to be, Lord. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining today on this quick word for your Wednesday. Hey, Pamela, good morning. Thank you all for joining me. Go out and win today. Get that mentality that you are a winner, my friend. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.